show. How is that? Oh, Great. Great. Thank you. <laughs> He's popping out of his clothes right now. Oh, why? Aaron Willett, because you, you look hot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now tell me, I you, you cried a few times tonight. Oh, a few. Jesus. <laughs> now tell me, what what is it? What are you thinking about at that moment when you start to tear up? Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Stop crying. Hold it in. Like, literally, that that's all I could think about. Like, it was just like, no, don't do this right now. Um, and it's 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 one of those moments where you're really really just trying to not show a vulnerable side and um, sometimes it comes out and sometimes you can't help it and um, it was just a moment for me that I really really connected to the music and and I opened my eyes and looked around and just was taking everything in and just it's overwhelming sometimes, you know. Someone said, one of the coaches said tonight, you know, some people can't stand up on a stage and do this. And um, and and I've been doing it week after week, but it was like the first time that I actually really opened my eyes and was like looking at people in the audience and just being like, these people are here to see us. Like, why? <laughs> you know, it still baffles my mind. Um, but... It was, it was definitely a moment for me, I think a moment that I needed um, just to kind of let some of that extra weight out, but uh, it definitely sucked that it was on live television in front of a camera, but uh, I mean, what well, I think can you that's do? endearing. Yeah. I think that's endearing to your fans. I, I mean, I hope that people connected to that. It's just really, uh, sometimes, sometimes as humans, you just sometimes feel like, ooh, sorry. Um, sometimes as, as people, you just feel like no one really understands you and uh you know no one understands this no one gets gets it um but over the past few months I've really had an outpouring of love of people who have been in a similar situation and really look up to me and it's just incredible because not that we're locked in a cage but you know day after day we have work to do you know rehearsing or wardrobe or s something um, so we haven't really had a chance to really go and experience the outside world and just be a person and uh, out you know walking around living our life and and it's just uh, it's crazy to think that I'm someone that people look up to it, it's I'm still getting used to all that and uh, is it overwhelming is it overwhelming to have that responsibility I mean, I think it is overwhelming to have a responsibility, but it's something that you kind of sign up for and you kind of have to be ready. And particularly for me, when I signed up for this show, that's not what I thought I was going to be. You know, I didn't even I didn't even know my father hadn't even been diagnosed with cancer. And then to be like I, I actually um, my college did a relay for life this past weekend and they asked me to send in a video and in the video I, I, I said something like it's just crazy for me because last year I performed at this and now I'm kind of speaking on the topic it's just crazy how fast the year goes and um, as you get older tomorrow's my birthday how old 23 oh, I thought you were gonna be like 19 <laughs> no no but I mean you know as, I know, I know. Uh, Lindsay's like the youngest, but only by a month, and then it's me, and then everybody else. But uh, it's just, you know, it's just, it's crazy. It's so much, like, overstimulation and just, like, uh, it, it, you know, sometimes you got to take a breath and, and you're just going and going and going that you forget to kind of just breathe. Well, I, I think the thing is when you're doing what you love, like you are right now, and you're caught up in this whirlwind, mm -hmm. it's hard to stop and go I want to savor this oh, moment yeah, yeah it, it it totally I mean you took the words right out of my mouth it, it's really incredible when you can let yourself feel the love that everyone is giving you and um, you know that's how I felt tonight you know to just savoring the moment and and uh, and soaking it all up and I think that that's what really just put me over the edge and, and made me so emotional because of all the things I've been through and all of the times that I just kept going and kept going and and sometimes you just gotta stop and be like I gotta just I gotta l let a little load out right now um, so it, it was it was a weird night for me I kind of you know and because of that it kind of just put me in this funk but I got out of it with Chris we were playing around in the Sprint Lounge and and uh, I had fun with the Lady Gaga performance so it was it was just was a, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It oh was really gosh. great.
great night, great night. And uh, tell me about Blake. What have you learned from Blake? Um, I think to. I, I think it's one thing that I've really learned from Blake is to just let myself feel those moments. And I think that that was a little bit of a, of a difficult thing for me tonight, just because. It was just so overwhelming, um, but but he he you know to just be happy in the moment and just uh, take it all in and not, and not let your insecurities get in your way or any of that and just be happy and, and just be thankful for where you are. And with that, Aaron Willett, have a beautiful night Thank and much so success much. in your you career. Too. The Blaring Out Show.